are you going to freeze Issa Patami's bank account? Reno calls out CBN governor, Emefile. A Twitter user identified as Reno has taken to her account to call out the governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, Godwin Emefele, asking when he is going to freeze the account of Nigeria's Minister of Communication and Digital Economy, Issa Patami. Patami is currently under fire over some controversial comments he made in the past in support of global terrorist groups, Akada and Taliban. Meanwhile, reacting to how the ISA has been handled by the government, Renew is challenging the CBN government for failing to freeze the minister's account like he did to 19 NSAS protesters few months ago. Godwin Emefiele, when are you going to freeze the bank account of Issa Pantami? Because that in November 2020, CBN received the, the nod from the Federal High Court in Abuja to freeze the accounts of 19 individuals and a public affairs company linked to the NSAS protest till January this year. Now, to quickly react to this situation, this is to tell the Nigerians that in this country, there are injustice, there are wickedness, there are oppression, and so on. The country's government are looking at the eyes and the position of somebody before they prosecute him. Now, this said Patami is like he is the boy of the president. That is why they could not touch him or touch what he has. So let it be clear to the Nigerians that what they are doing, they know. It is me and you who is not in their office that does not know. So Patami is the boy under President Mohamed Buhari and he received support from him. That is what gave him the power and strength to talk the way he do talk. He believed that whatever he did, either he organized people to attack one organization or the other, nothing will happen to him. Now, if you listen and you understand the content of this news clearly, now, during the time of Ed SARS in 2020, you will discover that 19 people's account was freezed after the order was given from the High Court. Now, those people, are they not human beings? Are they an animal? Are they not living among us? Does the law of Nigeria not hold them? It holds them. When the man on top give an order, it hold those people and immediately their account was freezed but look at somebody who has made a brutal statement who has made a condemned statement somebody who have a hand with terrorists he, he, he still occupy the office that he has been holding and nobody was done to him since now even why the activists, people that has power in Nigeria, are singing to the ear of the president and his supporters, nothing they have done to this man because they, they are the ones that are backing him. So let it be made known to Nigeria that the people that suffered in Nigeria are the average men, people that are not working in government. For example, pri private companies suffered in the hands of the Nigerians. The, 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 I mean, I mean a, a small scale business suffered under Nigerian government. 
People that are trying to survive through one means or the other suffered under Nigeria government. Since this administration comes to power, many petty businesses and uh, and small scale business has been closed down because they cannot afford what has been put in place. For example, even ordinary people that has bank account, if you look at the money that the, that, that, that that banks are taking from the account, you will surprise. So I mean, I mean, I mean, banks now has become warm that are eating people from their bones and fabrics every day. So Nigerians as a whole, they are not safe. So uh, from this foregoing, now somebody was saying that, come and freeze his account and let us see, is it your father's bank? So bank does not belong to anybody. Bank belongs to the Nigerians and everybody is free to to, to operate. So, whosoever that is, is found wanted, whosoever that the law get hold upon, the person should face the law. So, I do not know why this man is still in the position of minister operating. So, let the, the international world see what is happening in Nigeria. So, this is injustice. This is oppression. This is bias and if a country is operating like this i do not think such a country can go forward that is why everything has been destabilized everything has been vandalized everything has been scattered everything is go backward there is no progress in nigeria because the leaders has, has the leaders has has spoiled this country beyond repair